It's good to see you guys. Uh, since the end of spring, we finished with our finals. You know, our team GPA, I think, ended up being a 302 for the whole team. This is the second highest, I want to say, in Baylor football history, you know, after the fall 2021, uh, you know, semester GPA. So way proud of that. A lot of freshmen and everything that were involved in that and um, were a big, a big piece of that. And so I think it's a great um, kind of foundation for uh, what we can do this summer and uh, what we can accomplish in the fall. You know, I think the the detail and the discipline it takes to do things when you don't feel like it are um, one of the things that are expressed in, you know, academic success. So excited about that. You know, um, we got, what, 15 guys here reporting on uh, Saturday, so excited for that. Get them into the, uh, get them into the mix and, uh, um you know, in with our family and then starting summer. You know, summer's such a, um, uh, such a busy time, not only with, um, you know, we have lifting and running and we've got um, football school, so we've got drills and um, uh, conditioning, uh, conditioning drills and then um, time in the, uh, in the classroom to, to teach. Um, summer camps, official visits, all of it. But, you know, it's funny because I was talking to one of the coaches is if we could start with like a storyboard, if we were to write a, uh, write a short movie, movie script or storyboard, it would start, uh, scene one would be, here's a kid that thinks he's somebody and he's got, he's got a skill that, uh, that separates him from other people. And then he storyboard number two or page number two would be here he is getting into a new place doesn't know anybody doesn't know anybody wants to prove himself you know find some mentors some people that can help him can he trust them you know page three would be you know here's some adversity trials and tribulations right page four would be here he is in a pit you know all the way down beaten and broken and what he thought he knew he doesn't know and then you know Page five would be here. He is now on a rise, you know, um, kind of a transformation. Here's somebody that's um, sees sport as something he can express who he really is, and so that whole thing is exciting to get into that and start again with a new group. But uh, yeah, I um, wanted to be able to, to have this time with you guys prior before we take any questions because I know that um, there's the summer kind of talking tour is about to start. I think it actually starts tonight, and I'm sure with all of that, there's going to be um, things that are going to come out that I have to imagine you guys have an interest in. And so wanted to be able to holler at you guys prior to any of that. So I appreciate you guys being here. But questions? Hey, uh, I guess it's kind of obvious, but uh, have you decided on the starting quarterback? We have, yeah. We had a talk with Bull Blake and Sawyer, I think, the week after uh, that the spring game, and so we named Blake the starter. And I uh, had really good talk with Sawyer uh, and Blake at that time. And, um, you know, the, uh, the reasons for all of that twofold. One is I thought, you know, uh, Sawyer really progressed and got better at the end of spring. Um, you know, I think things settled down for him and everything. And I have to imagine it, he's going to continue to get better. Um, and so, you know, in talking with Sawyer, it's like, hey, man, way impressed with you, your future here is really bright. You know, um, hey, it's a big old thing. Just take it one step at a time and keep your head down. You're going to be great. With Blake, like his consistency and his overall improvement is was way impressive. And then his leadership and the growth there was impressive. And, you know, I'd have to, from y'all's perspective, I can see in that spring game where it probably – you know, could have been this or could have been that. I think overall, the spring with Blake was really good, and um, his leadership was much improved. And so, you know, I think he earned it. Uh, would be one. And two would be, you know, I think moving into the summer and um, and just kind of into fall camp is that we want to help solidify solidify with with Blake that hey, this is your team. You know, you've done all the work. You've earned it. We just talked about kind of being in a pit and kind of rising up. And I think that's the whole thing. I think, 
you know, for me, I mean, how many times has that been me, you know? And then you look at our players and you just, when guys are in that position, um, to give them the opportunity to climb out that thing and be the, the new them. And I think that's, that's what Blake's doing. And I'm way uh, proud of him. And so um, want to give him the, 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 the stage to be able to assert himself completely. He's the guy, it's his team, take us into summer and fall, give us the best shot to start it off. So excited for that. You know, I thought talk with all of them bo- both went well. And talking to Sawyer, I guess, hey, how you, how you feel with all of it? And he was, um, he goes, Coach, I love Baylor. It's where I want to be. You know, you're going to continue to see me get better. And we all knew that, you know, that's the case. And I'm sure that we will see him continue to get better. So, Dave, where is he on the storyboard? Same way, yeah, same way. I think for his his growth, um, you know, his growth is going to come on the game continuing to slow down uh, for Sawyer and to uh, take ownership of uh, just, a, you know, of a consistency and of a, uh, a knowledge base to where, you know, there'll be times at the end, or in the middle middle of spring, towards the end of spring, where there'd be, you know, we have a couple guys in the backfield, and it's like, okay, who's on first? It's okay. Do you know who's on who's on first right now? And so I think to grow out of that space and to and to build to say, hey man, this is this is kind of where it's at. This is what we're doing. This is why we're calling it. This is what the ex- expectation is. And those are all things I know he's been working overtime to get to that that spot. I think it's just a matter of time. So. Uh, uh, future's bright for him. Garmin Randolph didn't play in spring. What's his status with the team right now? Garmin's suspended. Yeah, so, um, you know, off the field issue. And so we're hoping to have that kind of cleared up uh, here soon. You know, but I think it's unfortunate and it's something that I, I hope is taken as a learning experience. I know I am taking it that way. And so I'm hopeful that that's that's how it's taken with him. You mentioned the 15 newcomers. Is that a combination of transfers and freshmen? Can you kind of break down the group that will be coming in? Yeah, so, um, you know, transfer-wise, we've got a few here just recently that we're working on getting cleared. I think of the... you know, there's three potentials, twos or two are cleared right now. And then we've got some freshmen that are coming in um, that um, wanted to finish out the semester, you know, at school. And so they just graduated and everything. And so they're going straight from graduation to heading down this way. And uh, then we've got a few walk-ons that um, are prefer guys and stuff that are going to show up as well. And so, yeah, it, you know, I think we're going to be right at our uh, allotment for um for the number that we have we're, we can have you know and so excited for that that we've got just a full group and that um you know they're one of the things i'm 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 most um if i allow myself one of the things that i'm proud of and pleased for is that people are coming the folks that are choosing to come to baylor right now is because of what baylor is you know and how they see you know, um, how they see Christian faith, how they see, you know, the importance of education, how they see, hey, we want to win championships, we want to win this way, doing it this way. And there's guys that are coming because of that. Or I think maybe in the past there'd be times where I'd be trying to explain, hey, this is kind of why we want to do it this way, and so now they're coming now because of it. And that's just a way cool thing. And I, I think it's very much... Um, illustrated in the group that's coming here in a couple of days. Dave, I think, I can't remember if it was Grimes or one of the other coaches, but they talked about it's rare when you hit mm-hmm. on just about everything. He's, and then they were talking about the transfers. Mm-hmm. Did you feel like you got, I mean, particularly what you've seen so far, that pretty much all those guys were hits? Yeah, yeah, we got a couple of them on, like, the Dean's list, you know, um, or 4.0s, so... And then they're great players, they're starters right now, you know, they're leaders. So I think that that ties in with the previous comment. I just think, you know, 
I mean, one of the one of the, the and it's, when it's transfer, it's happened so fast. So, the kid in, enters the transfer portal that night. He's got you know fifteen or twenty offers, and then you don't know how much of the stuff's kind of been, you know, in the weeds and all of it prior to that. Which usually, if that's the case, it's it's already done. But um, you know, and so there's there's always the push to go fast, hurry do this, do that. Um, and so while we ex- ex- ascribe to that somewhat, and I feel like you have to, there is an element where they sit down with me and they kind of go through all this stuff with Baylor and that could turn some folks away, you know? And so for the guys that kind of turn to it, I think it says everything because that's the, that's the guy that we want. And so, you know, there's enough dudes out there where you can get the ones that fit and, uh, I feel like we have to this point. So, Dave, uh, Byron Bonds, uh, I believe he signed up. Or, yeah. yeah, what's he going to add to the team? Pass rush. Yeah, I think the, you know, I think when you look at the the three four, there's the there's the Jack on this side of it. There's the the Will linebacker in the middle of it. There's the nose in the middle of it. I guess you could look at those two maybe as one guy or one element, I guess. And then there's the star on the other side. And so with the star and the jack, you know, on or near the line of scrimmage with the three down linemen, that's five guys. Offense has got five guys to block those five guys. So how do they do it? If they if the jack is a legitimate pass rusher and can win a one on one, they'll slide the protection to the jack, which now allows the star to win a one on one versus a running back. And I you know, there's uh, Jalen a couple of years ago showed how that looks. If the Jack is a rusher and the star is a rusher, then they have to block those five, have to block our five, which now opens it up for either the nose to win a one-on-one on the, on the center or the will to rush and get a one-on-one on the running back. And so, you know, you have the – all of these are four-man rushes, and so, you know, you can play your coverages with the seven guys, whatever you want. But the ability, the essence of the 3-4 is who's the fourth rusher. And if you could do that in a way that ties in with attacking their weakness or their, um, you know, or their, or, um, their, their lack of numbers, the better it is for us. And I think, you know, it starts with the jack rush. And so Byron gives us that. And he's also got great, um, he's got a great heart, great enthusiasm, very energetic, um, I think there's some um, um, there's there's an edge that he's going to bring to us that I feel like we need. Dave, the first year two and seven, then twelve and two, the great run, and then last year not, didn't finish well. Who are you among those three years? What do you expect from you in year four? Yeah, all of it. I think keep growing, all of it. Yeah, I think. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of learning and growth in all of those years, and so I, you know, um, you know, there's, I think the, just standing here in front of you guys now from 2020, what was that Zoom? I guess just so different now than then, and so, um, you know, I think to um, to to know better and to be humble at the same time and to be hungry for more improvement is who I would say I would be. You mentioned that maybe some guys pushed the envelope last year's team. Uh huh. Have you seen anybody try to do that with you this spring? No. Yeah, I think you know. So last year, and I know this is you know. So last year with the um. um with the discipline and all of it, I think what I did not do was, and uh, you know, and it's funny because some of these things may be just selective just to us, I think. And, and you know, there, I've been on other teams where some of these things we're talking about would not have even been noticed by coaches or not even thought of as a thing, right? And th- these are all just kind of personal discipline, kind of, you know, attention to school or how we practice. And so these are things that are important to me and to us and um, maybe to some other places are not even thought of that way or not even noticed, you know. And so I think the fits are a way important thing. That's why bringing in people that kind of fit all of it and can see it is way important because 
you come in and you're kind of you're kind of this way and there's other folks that signed up for something else and it's like I didn't sign up for this you know and so I think the the everyone is kind of you know I think we've talked about it before where everyone's seen hey if you go this way this is kind of what comes if you go that way we know where that road leads you know, if you just look at the last two years and I think you know just the the GPA and just all of the I mean I think you know we have a Baylor standard so there's uh, there's weight room there's character there's academic excellence and we've more than doubled that standard guys that have excelled on all three which is a way cool thing and so the challenge with us is to do all of that and win to do that and win to not do one and the other which I think is maybe the diff- the other way that maybe some kids signed up for or maybe some kids want to do so we want to be able to, to win but do all of it and have excellence in all of it and um, it's hard to do now especially nowadays people see um, people see um, you know um, I don't know if it's it's it says uh, I don't think it probably ever was a sexy thing, but it sure ain't now, you know. Dave, you all lost a lot of guys at the safety position, specifically older guys, and then you have a lot of young guys currently in the room. What have you seen from that group that gives you optimism and also made you not really address that position in the transfer portal? No, I appreciate that. Yeah, I think the, um, you know, I think both Demi Lemire and Devin Bobby both bring um, kind of a, a coach, uh, a coach player uh, view to that um, that group, and so they they are very uh, studious and um, you know uh, can talk it and get the guys lined up and uh, have a uh, awareness of hey we're in this and it's because we're expecting that and here's what's gonna happen, and here's the strength and weakness of our call. They're very much attuned to that. And so I think you, you have that, and, and you know, in for, for, um, for Devin Bobby to be able to take an extra step with, with Devin Lemire not being able to practice, I think is gonna be, end up being a positive, just the growth that he had in it. And then you got Corey Gordon, who's got like all of the, and, and and both Lemire and Bobby have excellent um, athleticism and skill and all of it. But then you've got Corey Gordon that, that is um, really talented and, and just blessed with, uh, with uh, athleticism and that can do all the things. And I think his, his ability, you know, our investment in him continually, yeah, I think is going to bring out the best of him. And, you know, it's one of the things we talk about the transfer portal is that as difficult as it is, and we for sure have done it here, is it's hard to talk about a team and development and do all the things when, because uh, when you say yes to something that's outside, you're saying no to something that's inside. And how, how does that mesh with, uh, we're a team, we're developing you, we're, you know. And so I think, um, you know, whereas last year, kind of was on the either or we're trying to be yes and this way and try to handle it all in a professional way in a humane way which is um is hard to do uh but i think not doing the transfer portal on the safety thing is because i think that we can say yes to the people that are there because the investment in them the, the talent is there and so excited for that Hey, do you think Baylor's ready to play in the NIL landscape? Is this school prepared to, to do what it has to do? Do you see that yet? I do. I think it's, it is it is getting better. You know, I think from where it, um, I think from, um, you know, I think our, like, let me say my philosophy on that is is to be in it. And I feel like we're in it. And I feel like when kids come, you know, that is something they bring up and they want to know what is it can be done. And um, when we give them kind of our talk and say, hey, this is what it is, I think it is a piece of the puzzle for them with the, the faith and the education and just how they're going to be treated and how, you know, that 
kind of that hero's journey we talked about. I think those are probably the main pieces of the pie. And then there is the, the NIL piece, which is a critical one, you know. Now, I, b- I believe that piece is getting bigger, you know. And so like, our ability to kind of grow with that piece, I think for all of us, I'll, I'll, I'll go this far, as speaking for me, but also for all of us, we just don't want the whole pie to be that. And I feel like that is the case in some other spots. And so for us to be us, I think to keep it a, keep it a piece and stay in it is is we're on track to do that. Do you like it to be equitable across the board with players? Like what's your personal philosophy on, on the NIL? Yeah, that's a good question. That kind of speaks to the heart of the matter. I know that um, I've talked with some coaches this off season that, um, that talk about it, whereas if, you know, I, if, you're an, if you're an All-American or multiple All-Conference or if you're a first or second round draft pick, you're getting this much money. That would be a tier. And then if you're a starter, um, if you're, you know, not on any of the good lists, if you're on all the good, if not on any, not on any of the bad lists, but you're on the good list, maybe you're on a poster on I-35 trying to get people to come to the, the games, you know, you're on tier two. And then tier three would be, hey, you're on the team. You don't embarrass the team. You know, here's something, a little something for you to be on the team. And I just think, you know, if you do it that way, I, you know, I question, I wonder, you know, what does that do for team chemistry? What does that do for, you know, Frankly, I don't think we have anyone in tier one anyways, you know. And so I just don't I don't I don't know what that does for, you know, who's making the decisions, who's tier one, tier two, tier three, right? What's the organization for communicating that to the players and their families and you know, if everybody is if it is truly person over player, how does that play into you know, hey, this player makes more money than this other player. And, um, you know, I could do that, but you're not giving me the opportunity. And I don't know. I just think it's a um, it's a disruptor, I feel. And I don't know if it necessarily needs to go that path. And so I look at it more as here's, a, here's something that everyone on the team gets and we're able to kind of build from there. And so, but that's a good one. It's becoming more and more of a topic because I, I have to imagine doing it in the tier way is um, possibly a less expensive way. Thank you. Okay. Thank you guys. Appreciate you all.